Hello everyone and welcome back to another hot sauce video. Uh, we have right here the November box for um, hot ones from Heatonist. So hopefully three new sauces in here. I'm gonna sample them, gonna let you know kind of like what I feel about them, how I like them. Gonna rate them on a scale of one to 10. Um, hopefully they're new sauces. Sometimes they include some older ones as well. But uh, three sauces regardless and then I'll rate them and let you know what I think. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right, we have our information card here. And then um, all the sauces described on the back there, and I'll be reading off of that like we normally do. Um, let's see what we have here. So first sauce is the, um, don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly. Uh, it's D-J-A-B-L-O. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of like, maybe Diablo, like version of, like, or Jajablo, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. Or actually, I would, if, I further, if I read further ahead, I would figure it out. So Jablo, this is Power Jab. Uh, Jablo, pronounced Job, Job, Joblo, Joblo, all right, cool. Has long been a favorite at Team Heat headquarters for its unique flavors, and this newest creation made especially for the Hot One Season 22 lineup is no exception. Maker Laura, Laura Dabba, uh, Dabap, I guess. Laura Dabap expertly channels her Filipino roots into this deceptively spicy sauce, bringing big flavor with powerful aromatics like ginger and garlic layered with a punchy mix of serrano peppers, Thai chili flake, and dried scorpion peppers. It's a turning point in the lineup, and it'll turn um, even the most boring roast veggies or squash from ordinary to extraordinary. So let's see what we got here. See. Oh, yeah, we got our stickers in here. We forgot to go through those. So, every box has some stickers in it. So, we have um, that one there, Climb Mount Scoville, or Scoville. And then there is our your standard kind of uh, heat in this sticker. These come in every order, I think, even when I've ordered stuff that was not specifically from this box. But, uh, let's see, here we are. If I can get it out of the box, that is. It's kind of tight. This is the uh, Jablo Filipino Hot Sauce Power Jab. Um, ingredients are going to be kind of hard to read because it's kind of like a clear bottle, or somewhat clear. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get the full ingredients because, it, the yeah, as you can see, the stuff is kind of hard to read. But let me just see. That's just a nutrition fact, so I think it's going to be there. Uh, ingredients, looks like, uh, I'll, try my, I'll try my best to read this. Uh, looks like something of vinegar. Yeah, I can't even read that. Like, the ingredients are all right there. Probably not going to focus very well on it, but it's whatever. I don't have any, like, kind of food allergies or anything like that, so I should be fairly safe. But, yeah, that's not very legible through the style of, like, the... The fact that the bottle is um, clear here. So, got that off. Let's go ahead. It smells pretty good. Grab one of these. So, this has scorpions in it and serrano. You can probably tell definitely serrano because of the kind of dark greenish um, tone of it. But yeah, it's got some scorpion peppers. Looks like Thai chili flake as well. Okay. You can definitely kind of taste the heat right away. It like, was like a couple seconds after I bit into it. It's not incredibly hot. Scorpion is fairly spicy. But I'm going to say probably this is like for the heat level. Probably like, like, like a 6, maybe a 7. It definitely has like a, like a little bit of heat to it. It's not in, not overpowering or crazy, though. Flavor's pretty good, too. So I can probably say probably, like, heat's like a 6. And flavor is probably like a 7. Like, like a 6 on the heat scale, 7 on the flavor scale. So pretty good. Let's go ahead and cleanse our palate here a little bit. And move into our next sauce here. Ooh, this is Sauce Leopard. So Sauce Leopard, they've done a few sauces here before. This is Sauce Leopard uh, Checked Out. So a new exclusive from our friends at Sauce Leopard, Checked Out features bright and fresh flavors like cucumber, lime, and pineapple. Those may not be flavors you typically think of when you're 
putting together a seasonal menu. But this sauce's complex composition also includes a hint of horseradish, sorry, a hint of horseradish, mustard, and basil. It's one of a kind and a wonder sauce for holiday brunch fare like bagels and lox or elevated seafood dishes like oysters. Uh, medium four five four out of five. Heat means access, it's accessible for all. The sauce is ready to be t- the talk of any holiday party. So yeah, I want to say, I forget how many sauce, I, I need to check, I keep a spreadsheet of all the sauces that I get from this. And I think Sauce Lover, they had, I think they had one called like the Seventh Reaper at one point. Um, I'll, have to, I'll check that. So this is, they definitely have been on in this box before. But this is the checked out, um, it says Cucumber Horseradish Hot Sauce from Sauce Leopard. So where's that? And this one, a little bit easier to read the ingredients on this one. So this one includes, uh, ingredients are cucumber, distilled vinegar, water, jalapeno peppers, pineapple, onion, habanero peppers, sugar, horseradish root, lime juice, olive oil, salt, spicy brown mustard, um, spicy brown mustard, seed, uh, salt, spices, turmeric, black pepper, and basil. So there we go. Go ahead and get it. Shake it up a little bit. Let's see if this method works on this bottle. It doesn't look like it will. Yeah, sometimes you can just twist the entire thing off and it'll pop off. But let's go ahead and get this open here. So it's got a nice smell to it. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. I remember the Seventh Reaper was actually, um, like I said, it had Carolina Reaper in it, but it was fairly tame as far as like a Reaper sauce goes. And it was a really good Reaper sauce. So um, if you ever find um, Sauce Leopard Seventh Reaper, I would highly recommend it. And again, this is the checked out sauce from Sauce Leopard. So there we go. It's definitely got an interesting flavor. You can definitely taste, like, the cucumber. It's very, like, kind of heavy on the cucumber. Not really tasting the horseradish as much. I don't really eat horseradish super often. So the flavor profile of horseradish is kind of, um, like, I, I know what it tastes like, but I don't really use it very often. Um, this doesn't really have a lot of heat to it. The other one was definitely hotter. So I'm going to say... This is maybe like a two on the heat level, but I'm going to say the flavor, the cucumber flavor is really good, um, and there's a little bit of sweetness in the pineapple, so I'm going to say like the, the flavor is probably like a six, but the heat's like a two. It's very, very mild overall. So what were the peppers in here? It was, let's see, jalapeno, habanero. Yeah, I think habanero and jalapeno were two peppers. Um, jalapeno, very kind of mild overall. Um... Yeah, yeah, even this one is saying the scale right there is kind of low. Might not be... Yeah, it says the heat level is, like, basically about half. Like, I... That's probably for, like, the average person. I don't... I find this to be pretty mild overall. But uh, good flavor. Not really um, a lot of heat, though. Like, like a very, very small amount of heat. Um, there was a sauce last month that was, like, a fruit. Um, I forget what it was called. But it was, like, a fruit. Very fruit-heavy sauce. This is a little bit hotter than that, but not by much. So that one's still decent, though. Um, Seventh Reaper, I definitely prefer Seventh Reaper from uh, Sauce Leopard over this one, though. We're going to move. Oh, let's cleanse our palate really quick first. All right, final sauce for this month. Uh, we have the La Pimentere. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I think they've done sauces before here as well. But this is La I'm going to try to pronounce this phonetically. Pim in Terry. Yeah, La Pim in Terry. This is the Fogo. Inspired by Portuguese Piri Piri sauce, Fogo is the perfect complement to poultry. It has a bright and savory mix of spices, oregano, and sumac, plus sweet vegetable notes from red bell pepper and onion, all of which make it highly balanced and thus highly versatile. Try it on roast chicken and turkey, or add some on top of your favorite style of potatoes, roasted, baked, mashed, or latkes. So here we go for, this is the final saucy La Pimentary Fogo. 
And I, I want to say, I, again, I'll have to check the spreadsheet that I keep to see, but I definitely think I've had sauces from them before, or at, at the very least one. The name, um, the brand sounds kind of familiar. So there's the Lamentary Fogo. Let's go check our ingredients here. It's got a three out of five on their little uh, heat scale. So their heat scale right here. So uh, three peppers out of five, it looks like. And ingredients in this are red bell peppers, onion, um, onions, cider vinegar, canola oil, lemon pulp and zest, habanero peppers, garlic, salt, cayenne pepper, sumac, cane sugar, and spices. Let's go get this shaken up. And does this one want to do it? This one looks like it will. Just one easy way to open these I found is just basically twist the entire thing, take it off, and then you can just peel the thing off a little bit easier than trying to peel it off of the bottle itself. All right, so that's open. All right, smells pretty good. So there we go. Again, this is the La Pementary Fogo. Okay, the heat's taking a little bit while a little while to build up. Still kind of mild. What kind of peppers were in this? Habanero, um, habanero peppers, and cayenne pepper. I guess I'm just at a point where habanero, even though habanero is supposed to be fairly spicy, it's kind of doesn't really have that much of an effect on me. Um, it's definitely spicier than the sauce leopard one. I'm gonna say the heat on this one, the flavor is pretty good. Um, I'll probably say this fl flavor on this one's probably like a, like a six. And the heat on, I said that I gave the two, a two on the sauce number for heat. This is probably like, maybe like a four. It's definitely a little bit stronger, but not as strong as the um, Diablo. And I think the Diablo is probably my favorite, or the, let's see if I'm pronouncing this correctly. The Jablo. Jablo is probably my favorite sauce from this, this box. So let me pull that one out again. So yeah, I definitely feel that this one, the the uh, Joblo Filipino Hot Sauce Power Jab is probably the best sauce this month. Um, definitely has good flavor and it actually has fairly good heat. Um, then we had uh, the Checked Out by Sauce Leopard. Pretty good flavor, looks like very cucumber heavy, but uh, pretty low on the heat scale. Like definitely the, the least spicy one this month. The kind of in the middle is the uh, the La Pimentary Fogo. So if I were, were to rate them, I would say overall favorite sauce this month is uh, the Jablo uh, Filipino sauce. Awesome sauce. Really actually going to look forward to using that. And then I'd say second place is probably the uh, the Fogo. And finally, kind of rounding it out this month's uh, lineup is the Checked Out. Um, like I said, I like some of Sauce Lepper's other stuff. But this one, it's got good flavor, but it's probably kind of overall one of their weaker sauces, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so first place again, the Jablo, followed by the Fogo, and then in third, the Checked Out from Sauce Leopard. Uh, that's going to do it for this month's video. We'll be back again sometime in December with another hot sauce video, hopefully opening three new sauces and uh, trying them out. But that's going to do it for now. So remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one. See ya.